Hi. Uh, we're going to continue our discussion of GIMP right now with the topic that uh, basically it's probably what GIMP is used mostly for. And that is uh, color correction and uh, retouching photos. But we're going to begin color correction. It's going to be spread over a couple of uh, videos. But uh, the first, first video is going to co cover uh, basically usage of histograms. So I'm going to call up an image and uh, here we have this image. If you will notice, bring it around here to properly use our real estate here. If you'll notice this image is a little flat. Um, you know it just you know the contrast the you know the colors and so forth just don't pop out at you. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can fix this image up a little bit, the color with the histograms. Okay, so we're going to go into Colors and Levels. We're going to make our sure our preview is on. Now basically, if you want to uh, have a starting point for your color correction, if you come down here and hit Auto, if you notice, we're pretty close on our image at this point. A lot of the color correction has been done for us. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit cancel. And we're going to go into colors and levels and see if we can do a little bit of this manually. If you'll notice on our channels, we can adjust the value, which is the intensity of the colors, as well as each individual color channel. Here's the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel and we have no alpha channel at the moment. So we'll go back to our, our, uh, our value channel. First thing that we're going to do is take a look at the colors individually. As I say again, make sure your preview button is clicked. Uh, you should do the color correction after all your cropping and everything is done to make sure that uh, you're not dealing with values that you really don't need to be dealing with. So do your cropping first of all. But we're going to come to the red. Now if you notice on this histogram, there's a area right here um, which is the blackest or the reddest of the reds or the darkest of the darks that uh, isn't really being utilized. So we're going to bring that over just a hair. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this over. This is our highlight area. We're going to bring it over a little bit because there's some information in here that's being captured. We're going to go to our green and again, we're going to bring our black point in a little bit. And uh, what we're going to do is bring this into an area. We're going to make sure everything is being captured. And we're going to come to the blue. Again, move it over just a hair. And then what we're going to do is, since there's no data being captured here, we're going to move this over quite a bit. And if you will notice, our image looks fairly good at this point. Okay, we've done a lot of color correction with the histograms. As I say, what we can do is we can cancel. We can start out again going into colors, going into levels. And then what we can do is we can just hit auto. And that gives us a good starting point for our histograms. Now we can come through and do the red. And um, it looks like we can move this over just a little bit. This is our highlight area. And um, it looks like we're missing a little bit of the shadow detail. Green, uh, same thing, just a little bit of the shadow detail needs to be moved over and uh, perhaps our highlight. We can compress this just a little bit. And our blue um, looks pretty acceptable. So we're going to hit OK. And that saves our changes. What you have to understand, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit Edit. I'm going to undo the levels, take this back the way it was. We're going to go back into our levels uh, dialog again. See, the uh, CCD on the camera is not a perfect device. Quite often, if your exposure and so forth isn't correct, or if your color balance isn't set correctly, what you're going to do 
is you're going to uh, your dynamic range which is represented by these histograms is not going to match uh, the dy dynamic range of the actual photograph. What we're doing here is basically um, matching our output and our input uh, levels. So if you'll notice in each one of these histograms there's a lot of wasted data here. Like see what we've got is we've got some of the blackest of the blacks here which are going to be muddy because um, the very lar or the very black areas are actually being recorded as a gray. Um, okay, same thing with the blue. Okay, the red and whatever. So if I hit the auto button, if you notice, our lights have gotten lighter and our, our highlights have gotten lighter and our um, um, our uh, shadows have gone into the blacker area. What we can also do is use these right here, these eyedroppers. Here we're in the value area. So if we want to click here and if we want to sample a black area saying that's the blackest of the blacks if you'll notice it adjusted for us and we're going to click here as our highlights and let's see if we can find something which is the whitest of the whites which is probably right about here okay that's another way of doing it is sampling with this eyedropper tool to um, change your dynamic range okay now what you have to uh, realize also is this um, this drop down in the center is your gamma and uh, what this does is controls the warp in the curve um, if your color balance is slightly off after performing um, you know this or if you have a tint to your image don't worry about it the next step is we're going to take care of the actual um, color balance and uh, so on and the contrast variation in uh, what's called the curves. But uh, this is the first step. Well actually the first step is you do your cropping and so forth. The second step is you come in here and you adjust your histograms. So that uh, completes this video on photo retouch part one.